update you on breaking news. Massive fire lighting up the downtown San Diego sky, sending thick smoke into the air. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens joins us live from the scene. Jared, as you pointed out, firefighters did such a great job limiting the damage. Yeah, they spent about 70 minutes or so dousing this building across the street with water to get that fire out and keep it from spreading to other buildings. This is on Park and Broadway, and you can see right now a tiny bit of smoke coming out of the top of the building just from maybe a hot spot. There is a fire crew still here monitoring for any new flames that pop up. But for the most part, everything is calm here in downtown San Diego. This used to be a restaurant and market. It's been abandoned for months, boarded up and blocked by a chain link fence. But it was quite the scene overnight, especially for the people who live nearby. It sounded like rain. I thought it was raining and I look out my window and I see that it's a fire. That's the voice of Christina French, who lives across the street. The rain she thought she heard was the sound of all of those fire trucks and engines and a helicopter dumping water on that building. This started at about 1 a.m. and brought a huge response that included even some crews from Coronado. You can see in Christina's pictures the smoke and the flames towering into the sky. Police tell us no one was in the building and they are not aware of any injuries, but they did had to evacuate some people who were on the sidewalks and the street that were sleeping there. It took crews again more than an hour to get this under control. Just one engine now here, and we've seen firefighters walking the perimeter of this building. There's a Salvation Army building next to it that was not damaged. Firefighters tell me that there was a five-foot brick wall in between the two buildings that kept the fire from spreading. Meanwhile, MTS uh, investigators were checking all of these cables and wires that you see overhead to make sure they weren't damaged by the fire. They found that everything was clear by about 4.30 this morning. Trolley service that was interrupted for a few hours overnight is, as you can see now, running on schedule. Live downtown, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.